Hey guys, this is iTroll at iX with Rollout Reviews doing another combo showcase. This time it's nothing really special, I just wanted to do a rapid fire type because people wanted me to do a rapid fire type. And nothing too special goes on with a rapid fire type, uh, it just is sort of what works for you and that means that this combo might not work for everyone. It's all very subjective and personal preference. Anyway, this is what works for me. There's nothing special going on. It's exactly what it looks like, and I'm gonna take a look at it. So, let's jump right in. First of all, the magazine I'm using, that's very important, um, is the direct loader with wide uh, attachment. I, I just love this combo. Um, it works similarly to the system magazine because it has a sideways trough there for you to load into. Uh, super easy to load in, you just sort of tilt your hand and drop them in, take a whole handful and, and it it's just very easy, very accessible. Um, some would argue it's not as good as the System Magazine just because of the way it goes so far back. The System Magazine, you know, it goes a bit forward and is a lot more balanced, so that might be uh, what works for you. But I just like this better personally. It's got a bigger opening up top. Um, along with that, I'm using the Dials Head. I love this head. It's probably my favorite for rapid fire. Um, one of the best for rapid fire, undoubtedly, just because of the grip it provides up top. Um, it's the only cross fight head part that goes this far forward, which allows you to put a finger way up here. And I think that's very comfortable. It also allows you to sort of push down there and, and get a very solid uh, shooting ground, I guess. Also using the Sassword one arm just because it's clearly the best one-handed grip arm out there. Um, way better than the upgrade version from Mock Sassword and uh, better than either of the Dravice uh, arms in my opinion. Now I'm using the Burst Bison Trigger because this is uh, just a very versatile trigger. It's good for power types, it's good for control types, and it's especially good for rapid fire types because it can sort of emulate the same kind of uh, trigger that Roll Cess Sword and Mox Cess Sword uses with the loop. Um, very good for rapid fire. Now, the core I'm using is a little bit interesting. A lot of people just opt straight to the Sonic core, and that's a good core, don't get me wrong. I think it just lacks a significant amount of power. So you can see here, like, it barely knocks that pin over, and when playing Break Bomber, it barely knocks the bombs through the tower. That's not ideal, and doesn't work for a whole lot of situations. Don't get me wrong, like I said, it's great for rapid fire. It's a very speedy core, it's just not very versatile. Now, a lot of people also opt for using the Dravice 2 leg. It's got a lot of mobility, probably the best for mobility in the whole system. Once again, that's very true, but uh, you'll notice here, I'm not using a power block. Uh, that's just because through testing, I found that when I am rapid firing, the power block will just straight up fall off because Rev is one of the older cores and thus does not have a latch system. Uh, it doesn't have anything up top for the newer stabilizers to um, slot into. So I just decided to have nothing back here at all. And, and because of that, there's not a whole lot of back support and he would just fall over. So instead of using Sonic um, or Device 2 for my leg part. I'm using the uh, death shell leg with the dash stabilizer pieces on the back just to uh, support him a little bit when he's not loaded at least. Uh, when he is loaded, he'll support up to the point where you start loading into the uh, wide magazine itself. And even then, the 
Burst Bison Trigger will keep him up. Now, if he did use the System Magazine, it would offset the weight a lot better, and he wouldn't fall over, especially considering it's the Metal Rev, and it's got all this uh, front weight anyway. I just think Metal Rev is a lot more solid, a lot more stable, and a lot more smooth, even though Sonic is uh, pretty smooth to begin with. I just like the way this functions a bit better. All of that said, let's actually do some tests. I'm not going to do a power test because uh, nothing really changes much from the normal uh, device core here, the normal um, Metal Rev. So. I mean, it's slightly less powerful just because there's no power block, but not a whole lot changes. Anyway, what I really wanted to do in this video is just fire off a lot of shots. So I have a hundred marbles here, and I'm just gonna shoot them all off. Uh, there's not a whole lot to say. Anyway, let's get started. Once again, I love how easy it is to just load marbles into this magazine. But getting started, And there you go, 100 shots. Pretty easy, um, again, it works really well for me, uh, but rapid fire is very suggestive. What works for me is not quite gonna work for everyone else. You just sort of have to play around and, and build something suited for you. Everyone has different sized hands, everyone has a different mental pace, I guess. There's... It, a lot of variables in rapid fire. Um, it's a lot of listening, I think. You know, you have to listen to marbles go into the chamber, and everyone has, has different abilities, so build what'll work for you, uh, but this is definitely one to try out. Uh, this is my favorite rapid fire type combo I've made, and probably the best I'll ever make. So that is about it, guys, and this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.